We can't just keep this for us. This is a day of good news. All eyes and wave to you. Congratulations and jubilations for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. So if they have a farm, uh, there is uh, where uh, the cow was given from a timber. So let's hand over the gift and then they will... Let me first and foremost appreciate the deacon's team. To think ariko mbere yuko ntangira reka banze nungereza yo madame aho yicaye ahaguruke abapepere before i start to teach i ask my wife to rise and wave to you eh muanze mu mwitegereze neza arasa neza please look at how well how gorgeous she looks sibyo se isn't it eh na yicarire madame yicarire you can have your seat dear wife I am teaching the men here to appreciate the beauty of their wives. In the past days, I was giving a seminar somewhere. And the kid came to me and said, Pastor, you taught that parents have to be affectionate to the children, so I come to you. So here I am, I want you to give me a deep hug as the one a grandfather is giving to the grandchild. So for you today, I mentioned that you need to hug your spouse in the eyes of your children. And one teacher told me some men have become stony. And I said there is a song I used to hear back in the days. I don't think there is anybody who knows the song here. It was famous when we were still young. He uh -huh. It was authored by two men. One was called Simon and another one was called Kefunkel. Garfunkel. Funkel. Garfunkel. 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 They were very famous uh, British singers. I am a rock. I am an island. Maybe I am a rock. I am an island. I touch no one, no one touches me. And uh, this song sometimes, so very few times it passes on the radio, maybe you hear about it, but it was a song singing that I am a rock and I am a stony and I am alone on an island. For us Christians, Thank you, darling, to accompany me. I want us to be fast. I noticed this is your year's theme that says, I can do all things by Christ who strengthens me. For this past week, that was the theme of our preachings. Powered by Jesus. Those of you who came in the morning service, the theme was empowered by Jesus. Living in the power of Christ. Walking in the power of Christ. One day I was on the airport. That is the time we had Boeing 777 coming in the country. Not in the country. In the world. In the world. I think it was, they were just got integrated in the world. I got close to the plane. It is a huge plane. Powered by Rolls Royce. Powered by Rolls Royce. 
and it was written powered by Rolls Royce. The engine was manufactured by Rolls Royce. And Rolls Royce wouldn't call him Modoka. Rolls Royce is very powerful in mechanics. They manufacture a few cars, but very expensive. If you see someone driving a Rolls Royce, you will know that man is wealthy. I've never seen a Rolls Royce in Rwanda, but maybe it will come. They are the ones to manufacture the engines of the Boeing 777. I felt the urge to talk to the plane telling it, for me, I am powered by Jesus. Powered by Jesus. I am empowered by Jesus. I walk in the power of Christ. Amen. 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 The man who wrote these words that I can do all things by Christ who strengthens me. He's an amazing man. Among the disciples of Jesus, Paul came in the last times. But by the time he came, by the time he showed up, he brought a very tremendous transformation. Then he got to a point and said, if you want to know my secret, all things that I do, it is by the strength given by Christ. I will give you just a few examples of the strength Paul had. Paul wrote a half of the pieces of the books we know in the New Testament. From the book of Acts of the book of Acts of Apostles, Paul comes in on a bad sin. The day Stephen was torn, it is Paul who was overseeing the act. He did not even stone, by the way. He just stood there. They put the clothes of Stephen on his feet. He was the mastermind only overseeing. He never took a stone to throw. His responsibility was to make sure Stephen was dead. After that, he never stopped. He carried on. On chapter 8, he comes on. On chapter 9, it, was, it had become a habit for him. On the way to Damascus, he met Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never once Jesus came to warn him. He just came and threw Paul down. And say, Saul, 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 why did you torture me? Because the power of Jesus was so heavy on him. And Paul answered, who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, the one you persecute. Now, go to the straight way. And on the other way, he, he went and told Ananias, go on the straight way, you will meet a, sim a man sim called Simon. He, you will find him praying. The answer of Ananias is also surprising. Ananias is talking to his master. The Lord of the Lords, the King of the Kings. Tell me, do you really know this man you're talking about? Do you know this man? I heard about him. The reason why he's coming to Damascus is to gather us and to have us killed. And now you're sending a rat in the cat's house. Jesus told him, the rat you're talking about, the rat. 
the cat you are talking about, I have removed his thief, I have removed his claws. He is now praying in a room. He's seeing a man called Ananias coming to lay his hands on him. Ananias changed his mind. He went and indeed he found Paul. Saul said, who are you, Lord? Which means he accepted there is a power greater than the one he has. He accepted there is the one greater than he is. And Ananias, when he saw him, even though this man is persecuting the church, the Lord told me he has made up his mind. Now he has become his vessel. When he went to lay his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you, he sent me to lay my hands on you that you may gain sight, that I might baptize you, that you may be filled of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saul started on this is where we are going to start from. Mm. Because the message Muhimbaraga zo gutekereza vuba no kubona amagambo akwiriye kugeza no kuri nuances zose agomba gusemura kugira ngo ababyumva mu cyongereza babyumve nkuko byavuzwe mu kinyarwanda kandi asenga ngo twimbi imbaraga zawe zituzeho buri muntu wese uri bwumva ubutumwa n'uzabwumva kera azakorwe ku mutima ku buryo bihindura ubuzima bwe ku buryo twese tugiye na munzira tuvuga ngo dushobozwa byose na Kristo duhimbaraga uho mugisha ubwoko bwawe Izina rya yo rihabwa icyubahiro mu izina rya umwami wacu Yesu Kristo. Amen. 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 Uyu Paulo kuva uwo munsi bamunamitse ibiganze. Paul from the day he was laid hands on. Ngo yatangiye kubwiriza ubutumwa i Damasiko. He started to evangelize in Damascus. Ngo yemeza abantu bose ko Kristo ari we mwana. He convinced everyone that Jesus is the king. Na wakatanyira wate se uyu si wa wundi watotezaga ba Kristo. And those who saw him said isn't he the one who were persecuting the church? No, he is And today he is teaching in the name of that name. Hallelujah. Amen. Iyo umuntu yahuye na Yesu when you meet Jesus, when you meet Jesus, when you meet with him truly, two things will change. Do you know about this? Many people here have actually met with bishop. Others met with such a pastor. Others met a certain apostle. Others met a prophet. But they have not yet met with Jesus. But when you meet with Jesus truly, something will definitely happen. Something will definitely happen in you. There are things that will change in you. So that thing that will spoke through you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Paul got changed, you will see where he starts in the book of Apostles chapter 9. They skip chapter 10 and 11. And they go to chapter 12. From chapter 12 to 18, that is Paul. That is Paul. And you, and you carry on to the epistles of Romans and you go even to the Hebrews even though it's not yet admitted that maybe he's the author but you even go beyond. That's all Paul. Of 22 books in the New Testament 13 of them are authored by Paul. And one half of the Acts of Apostles, it's him. 
Jesus said some people have been first but then will be last and some last will be first. He's a typical example. What is the secret of Paul? One thing I like about him he's just open. If you want to know where he's born from you will know. If you know what he likes, he wrote about it. If you want to know what he hates, it's written. If you want to know his weaknesses, they are written. An open book. He's just an open book. Everything about him is not hidden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people who have some shelves. Paul says he admits I persecuted the church. Peter denied Jesus. He only wrote two epistles. Nowhere in his epistles he says that he denied his master. That he says I Peter that you see here all the miracles I am, do, I am getting to be do, doing once I denied my master but he forgave me ah, ah. no Peter, Peter his ah, ah. things you will also see this in our times there are people they teach. They will never give a testimony. They will, you will never know where they come from. You will never know what sins they committed. No. He does not want people to know his secrets. He has a shelf. For, for Paul, he puts everything out. So, what is the secret of Paul? I can do all things with the strength given by Christ. Many times Paul spoke about Jesus. He says, I everything that was gained to me I regard as a loss. I live but it's not me who is living. It is Christ living in me. Whatever I do, I do it for him. I do do it by the faith I have from God for his son. In the epistles to Philippians, this is amazing. All this week we dived into chapter 1, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Let me give you just a summary. The secret of Paul. If you see what Paul went through and you see what he faced, you cannot believe. Even when Jesus called him, he said, Ananias, you go and lay your hands on him. I have already shown him his tribulations for my name. If there is a man that got beaten, if there is a man that was tortured, if it was not God pushing him, we would have thought that maybe he's committing vengeance because of the things he did. Once I asked some women, if it was possible, you would have gotten a husband like Jesus. And they all raised their hands. I laughed at them. Who would have accepted to have a husband like Paul? They also rose their hands. I also laughed at them. Because most of the time, people will look at, at the outer part, how glamorous it looks. But they never consider troubles and problems. If you would take young ladies and you ask them, would you accept to get married with a pastor? She would say, oh, a husband, a pastor, where will you get him? pastor. Uh, mm. <laughs> You could be getting married with a pastor. <laughs> and 
And you share him with all the women that express their love for him. Except my wife. She's a very patient woman. Sometimes we go around together. And I say, darling, do not get jealous. We love your husband so much. But I cannot even cheat on her because she knows me. But what is hard of it? Imagine if you were the wife of Jesus and you go together in a wedding. A harlot will come and sit on his feet and she would cry on his feet and she will wipe the feet with her hair and then she would, he would not remove his feet a woman said if she ever dares to do that one of us will die if not her, maybe me now Paul he listed the works he did for God now here any Christian would really relate and say I wish I could be like him Paul says Romans 15 he says God did great exploits with me verse 15 to 20 this is why I, ha I have reason to glorify in Christ Jesus for I will not dare to speak in mighty signs and wonders by the power of the spirit of God I have fully preached the gospel of Christ so that from Jerusalem and round about to Illyricum. And Illyricum. Let's, go, let's tarry on verse 20. And so I have made it my aim to preach the gospel not where Christ was named. This is what Paul means. I started on the borders of Israel. I took the gospel to where our world ends. Wow. If you hear someone say this word, you will really be amazed. If it's a young man or woman, he would say, I wish I could do the same. But if he tells you the troubles he went through, then you will understand why he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There are some things people will confuse. People, people want to wear the crown of glory ignoring the crown of thorns. They want to be celebrated, praised without accepting to receive the spears. But serving God requires a great sacrifice. All the people that you will see have achieved some milestones first ask them how about you show us the good side of glamorous things how about if you show us the side of hidden things Paul wrote many things that we can see the troubles he went through the disciples of Jesus wrote about the life of Jesus. 
izina risumba amazina yo it shows us the pains jesus had to go through before getting celebrated in heaven aho ro niho wumva neza iri jambo ngo shobuzwa byose na kristo mpimbaraga then you can understand very well the word that say i can do all things through christ who strengthens me nubunda ya magambo asoza ubuhamya bw'imibabaro because even this word comes concluding a relation of the troubles he went through kuko muri iki gice cyakane paul aravuga ngo ndababwira ngo mwishime because in chapter 4 paul says rejoice ngo and i repeat again rejoice ariko akabanza kutubwira kubwo yandika ngo mwishime kandi ari muri gereza but imagine he wrote rejoice yet he was in prison ndetse akabwira ba filipa gawe ati yewe nize kunyurwa and even told the philippians i learned how to be content uko ibintu byamera kose however much it could change imvura yaguye nzanyurwa whether it rains i will rejoice izuba ryacanye nzanyurwa whether the sun shines i will rejoice bangubise nzanyurwa whether i got beaten i will be content bangome amashyi nzanyurwa whether they clap for me i will be satisfied kuko nshubuzwa byose because i can do all things with christ who strengthens me Hallelujah. 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 I can do mbaraga. all things by Christ who strengthens me. Kristo wageze kuri icyo kigero. Every Christian who got to this point. Ushobora kuvuga nka Paul ngo giye kubaho ni Kristo. And you can dare say that I, to Tugo live to meet Christ. And to die would be again a, a, a prophet. Aba yahindutse umuntu uri unstoppable. Udahagarikwa n'ikintu cyari cyo cyose. That Christian would have become unstoppable. Hallelujah. 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 Kandi nicyo twagombye kwifuza. And this is the ideal we need to reach Kuba out to. Kuba ubuzima bunesha. To live in a victorious life. Shobozwa byose na Kristo. When you are empowered by Christ. Powered by Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reka rero turebe amabanga ya Paulo. So let us see the Duhereye noneho ku bibazo. Ndasoma ahantu hamwe gusa. I will only read one scripture. Paulo yatugiriye neza. Paul did good to us. Ashira mu ncama kimibabaro ye yose. He put all his troubles in a summary. Aravuga ngo dore. He said. Ngo abakorinto bakabiri gice cya 11. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Duhere ku murongo wa 23 hagati. Let us start by verse 23. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Aravuga ngo mbarusha mu mihati mbarusha gushyirwa mu mazu y'imbohe. Mbarusha cyane gukubitwa birenze urugero kenshi nari mukaga kurupfu. Are you there? Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 23. Verse 23. B. I am more in labors more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons more frequently in deaths often. Makumyabiri na kane ibihe bitanu abayuda bankubise inkoni mirongo itatu n'icyenda verse 24 from the jews five times i received 40 stripes minus 1 ibihe bitatu nakubiswe inga three times i was beaten with rods igihe kimwe natewa mabuye once was i stoned ibihe bitatu inkuge zaramenetse three times i was shipwrecked naraye muhengeri nirirwamo a night and a day i have been in the deep nari mu ngendo nyinshi in journeys often mukaga gatewe ninzuzi in perils of waters mukaga gatewe nabambuzi in perils of robbers mukaga gatewe nabene wacu in perils of my own countrymen mukaga gatewe nabapagani in perils of the gentiles mukaga ko mu midugudu in perils in the city mukaga ko mu butayu in perils in the wilderness mukaga ko mu nyanja in perils in the sea mukaga ko muri bene data biminyuma in perils among false brethren mu miruho ni mihati in weariness and toil mbamaso kenshi in sleeplessness often ngiri nzara ninyota in hunger and thirst nirirwa ubusa kenshi in fasting often nitwa nimbeho in cold number ubusa and nakedness uyu nguyu uvuga ibingibi this man stating these things agaba ngo shobozwa byose na kristo then he says i can do all things through christ kuko niba yarakubiswe ingoni mirongo itatu n'icyenda if he was beaten 39 times insuresha 5 times yaba afite umugore if he had been married ngo ni mugerageze kubyiyumvisha try to imagine ingoni mirongo itatu n'icyenda yakubiswe na aduye 39 times he was beaten by an enemy 
bagahera ku birenge bakubita bakageza mu bitugo from the feet to the head bakongera bagasubira muzika wa 39 and again 39 times ugataha umugongo wose wabyimbye you go swollen in the back and you tell your wife, I got beaten today. Please bring hot water to help me. They, they beat me in Kichukiro. But tomorrow I have to go and preach in Gahanga. If you were, a, you were the wife, would you really get away with it? Madam, I, my wife is here. I don't know if she remembers this. Uh, we got married in 1990. And uh, the war of liberation started. I was working with students at the university, so I had to travel often. Most universities were in the northern part of the country and that is where most issues were. And everywhere else it was not that serious. Every time I would come back home and give a bad report. Today they got me out of the bus and they just took my arm. And today a bomb just burst just yes, by me and God protected me. And she would be very worried. You know, you will die. Why don't you be careful? So one day Jesus came to her and Jesus told her, just leave my servant to go. If he dies, he can even die just by your side in the bed. When I came back, she told me, you just go. Jesus told me to leave you alone. My point is, when he wrote this chapter, and he tells you the children who were born in a bad way. I tell you about a child that was born without clothes, so I took a clothes, a, a suitcase of clothes, and I spent one month and a half. He was only enjoying the trips that maybe you could say. Imagine leaving your wife when she had only given birth. And you go to study a course in our, and you go in a hotel. That's not something to enjoy. Imagine you just step off and the bomb will burst. And then when you pray, God tells you, don't stop, just carry on with the journey. I remember in 1998 God, God told us to go and pray from Ruhengeri Musanzi today. And that is the time when we had infiltrators and then they attacked a, a vehicle and it got burned. The people were with said let's go back to Kigali. And he told her, are we not heading to that place? I see them there. I can maybe be shot by those ones, but I will not be shot by the ones that I see. I can do all things by Christ who strengthens me. I can give you a thousand stories. But if Jesus is the one on the lead, the power to serve him is given. In the book, uh, in the letter to Philippians, how do you do so that you focus on Jesus so that you can be empowered by Christ who gives strength? I called it uh, the strength to focus the power of focus. The power to in the focus. Paul says to live is Christ. 
When you live in a way that Jesus is the reason of your living. When you focus Jesus to a point where you feel him fully in you. It becomes easy for you to speak about him. You will never stop speaking about something you like. The fans of soccer where they meet, they just talk about soccer. We have now European Champions League. All the people now, they are talking about the results of the last games. When you meet with people who like alcohol, they only talk about alcohol. Anything you like will always be on the tips of your lips. Bishop. The reason why most Christians will not dare to testify about Jesus. They are not passionate about Jesus. It is easy for you to talk about money. It is easy to talk about soccer. It is easy to talk about cows. It is easy to talk about cars. Because we are passionate about them. But when you are passionate about Christ, the power to testify will be close to you. The reason why we don't testify about Jesus, it is because we don't focus on him. The reason why we don't preach to the sinners that they may get saved, we don't remember what Jesus did for us. Evangelism. To love the sinners. To preach to the sinners. It comes from what Jesus did in you. I, I remember the ten lepers in the um, Old Testament. The army of Syria had come and besieged some, uh, Samaria. People were dying of hunger in the city. Ten lepers were out of the city. And they said, well, if we stay here, we will die. If, if we go to the Syrians, maybe they will kill us. After all, it will be death. God sometimes is funny. So they started to step. They were stepping like lepers. The Syrian army where they were coming, they heard the steps of a great army. God amplified the sound of their steps. By the time they got to the camp, the Syrian army had fled. When they got there, they plotted. They plotted clothes. They plotted gold. They plotted food. And they ate. After that, they hid. And one said, you know what? We can't just keep this for us. This is a day of good news. All the people need to know about this. Hallelujah. Because when you are so passionate about Christ, you cannot keep him for yourself. You need to share him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is evangelism. In the first book of John, first chapter, he said the one we heard about, the one we saw, the one we touched, the one we knew, he's the one we are giving you, that our joy may be yours. Hallelujah. But those of you who know about Jesus, please wave. Oh, yeah? No, you are deceiving me. Oh, yeah? No. Can you imagine the number that I am seeing? If you want to expand the church, it's really up to you. Every one of you, are passionate about Jesus. If they were passionate about Christ, 
all my neighbors all my colleagues everyone who is hurting me the one that we give a right to the one that we find me anywhere they will know that I have Christ in me people, most people here don't have him apparently they say when you swallow Jesus you can't hide it when you eat onions or garlic even when you shut your mouth you only exhale every person around will know how come now you hide the, the flavor of Jesus? You have not yet swallowed him. Maybe you heard about him. Because if you hear someone talking about onion, you will not smell it. But if you eat it, and you swallow it, even if you brush how much time for two days people will know that you have eaten an onion so now we, when it's garlic <laughs> that's another thing <laughs> it's okay. another thing let's carry on you have understood Paul says for me even to die is gain but as, as long as I will live on this earth, I will speak about Jesus for people to know him. Even when I die, I will find him. Whether on my right, on my left, I will find him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second, in the second chapter, he says on verse 5, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. The power of focus. The power of focus. When you focus on Jesus, you look like him. Apparently, you don't uh, sing the hymns. I am not blaming you as long as you sing for God. But there is one of the hymns and most of you say that we can sing it. You came from those areas that sing from most. If you focus on Jesus, you will look like him. All of them will know. That you live with him. They will live their wicked ways. And they will respond to Jesus. The song says, if you focus on Jesus, you will look like him. When you look like him, all the people passing you by, they will also know you. And they will see Jesus. They will live their wicked ways. And they will go to Jesus. Sometimes I went somewhere. A madman was by the street. He was just thing like, just standing like this. You know, mad people will never know what they have in mind. So there are things they do. And everybody knew he was mad and he was pointing upward. He was only pointing upward like this. Surprisingly, everybody seeing him came to him and stood like him. Why? He was focusing on nothing. Everybody was trying to see what he was focusing on. Even us, if we focus on Jesus, people will want to focus and they will see Jesus. One mistake that we sometimes commit, we think that people will know about Jesus if we take them to church. I have to go to church. 
Jesus says, no. I don't want you to take me to the church. But take me where you work. Take me in the street you pass by. Take me to the market you buy from. Take me to the hospital you visit. Take me to the school where you study. That people will know that you have seen me. Hallelujah. I got saved when I was a teacher. So I started to do research and I was wondering, how can I become a Christian teacher? And Jesus told me, no, you just take me to classrooms. How come I, call, I go to a classroom and preach? He said, no. You go to the classroom and become the good news. You just take me to the classroom. Those who see you will see me in you. Jesus, how can I do this? I came to read the book authored by Mr. Sheldon. What would have Jesus done in my place? So I started wondering if Jesus was a teacher, what would he do? I started to pray about it. And he told me, love your students. Teach them as if I was the one teaching them. The harvest was great. I want to give you an example of one student I had in the university. I was his um, director in the thesis. So one point, at one point I could not find him. Other students will bring me what they wrote but I could not see him. And other students never knew about what happened to him. They had come back to school in Butare. So I took a bus and went to Butare. I went just looking for him. I asked around and I finally found him. He was sick and severely sick. And the time to present his thesis was getting close. So I visited him. He said, lecturer, I am desperate. I'm not sure if I, if I will finish. I don't even know if they will allow me to repeat the class. It was during the time of the war. You never know how it will happen. So I told him, listen, I want to help you. You stay here. You write what you can. Every two weeks, I will come and visit you. I will spend the night here correcting you, showing you what you have to do, then go back to Rulindo. I will come in the weekends. And he asked me, how am I going to pay you for the tickets? I told him, do not worry about it. I will manage. I directed him and he finally closed. He presented his thesis and he was successful. The day he presented, when you read the books, the book of Hebrews, Verse 11. It says all the people that came before us. They all died still believing these promises. But they had not yet received the promises. But they saw them from afar. And they desired them. They would say they are pilgrims and they are journey. Those who say such, they show that they want the portion of their heritage. And God has kept the heritage for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God is never ashamed to be called our God because he has kept the heritage for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you understand this? There are sometimes I teach. 
and I feel as if I'm not making any point. Because when I speak about Jesus, I feel it is a tangible matter. But because people are not used to this kind of teaching, they feel it as being as abstract. I will conclude. When you have get hold of Jesus, Paul says, when you have known all the things I mentioned, whether you are enduring famine, whether you go through wealth, whether people like you or not, whether people will beat you or slap you, whether people stone you or you go through the waters, you can do all things by Christ. unstoppable. Nothing will ever hinder you. Because any obstacle ahead of you, you command it to go. Because I follow Jesus. And I see him. And I will not take my eyes off him. And you problem in my eyes. You will never take me away from him. I am coming on because I can do all by Christ who strengthens Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you focus on Jesus and you be transformed by him even though you are weak you become strong. Paul says, in my weaknesses, that is where the power of God is manifest. I have a, a torture in my body. But the grace of Christ is sufficient for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you hunger for more, you hunger for more. And you long to see Jesus. He reveals himself to you according to your hunger. Because God says, You will seek me and you will find me. If you seek me with diligence, the more you seek God, the more he will be diligent to reveal to you. And the more he will reveal himself to you, then the more you hunger to see more. Now life becomes easy. You go following Jesus. To be victorious with God, it is because we have we know what we follow. The power of the people of God is not to remove problems. It is to love God and you love Jesus in all the problems and you say problem. You will never stop me from following Jesus. Never will you take me away. You come from my way. Even though I have to die here, I will never get away from Jesus. When you came to that point, even demons will just go. And they will say, this kind of person, you just leave them. Because they are focusing on Jesus. If you tarry with them, the heaven will try, will, will kill you. You just leave them and they should go. Because they have a focus. And the power from them can finish us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unstoppable. Powered by Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone who is empowered all things by Christ. They look at you in your weaknesses. And they say, even though they look like a lamb. But I have the mind of a lion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have Jesus. May God bless you. 
the man who wrote the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 7 it says remember those who rule over you who have spoken the word of God to you whose faith follow considering the outcome of their conduct good imitate their faith follow their faith Paul went through all the troubles we saw. Then he says, I can do all things by Christ who strengthens me. Because we wrote this epistle. And he says, imitate Paul. Because Jesus was over. And the way he was yesterday, he is today and forever. The same way he helped Paul and he helped Peter the same way he will help us. May God bless you. Unstoppable. Be unstoppable. Let us pray. If you are here, if you are here today or maybe you are following online and you have not yet received Christ, let me tell you, start from today on and walk around says, my focus is Jesus and what I am looking at is to look like him progressively. Amen. Amen. If you feel that the spirit is talking to your heart, just make a small gesture. Imitate me. Raise your hand. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Come and dwell in me. Be the king of my life. And the first I got today, stir it up that I may be thirst for more that I know you, that I may see you, that you may reveal yourself to me. Let this prayer be yours, that you may be uh, empowered all by Christ. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Look at all this congregation. You told us that when the Holy Spirit comes down, he will tell us of your things. When the Holy Spirit comes, he will explain to us everything. When the Holy Spirit comes, he will put you in us. Do it, Holy Spirit. Visit each and every one here. Those who have Jesus and those who have not yet received him, to us that have seen you, give us more. Give us more. Add. Keep this thirst in us. Keep this hunger in us. That we may see Jesus. That we may know the power of his resurrection. That we may see him unceasingly. And Holy Spirit. Visit those who received Christ today. Put thirst and hunger in them for the times ahead. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me call. Let's call Pastor and the spouse to come forward. Uh, women department and the deacons you know what we are planning go baririmbizi baririmbi minota nkibire niko bambiye ntakunde Let all the deacons come forward. 
Zawadi ya kuni Bamwe ndi munda wana wari muriga hunda Banja haria Yes Let's celebrate the Lord as they are coming forward. Aha. Tarabazi, kwa barambi, wamu wa tangi kugenda kandi wa birumvikana. Are kundi tu gitinze hari. A celebration for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. Congratulation and celebration for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. Congratulation and celebration for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. Congratulation. And celebration for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. Congratulation. Congratulations. And jubilation. And celebration for your happy, happy, happy anniversary. Let's celebrate the Lord. Ashobora kuba ari anniversary naje ntazi ngo ni yiki Yes impamvu mbivuze gutya The reason as why I had to highlight it like that Dusoza amateraniro ngira ngo kitari ki 18 When we concluded on 18th Haro kuno madame yabimbiye ngira ngo yavuganye na kanone arimo yiruka Ah there is a way my bishop's wife talked to canon as they are remembering so this is the Sunday that follows 18th I will ask them that how many years have they lived in their marriage together they will open the gifts 33 years of their wedding anniversary I will not speak much about that. But for those whom we were with in the week of celebrating and I felt like he would come to church and then we speak at least some speech. Dr. Antoine uh, originates from Mutara. Kandi abantu bo Mutara and people from Mutara and all Rwandans at large they know the value of cows. Uh, because of the story and the issues of the history I don't have a farm here. But I have so many people who gave me cows. I may even mention the different names. So all the cows they have given me, they have never, I have never gone to bring them. So there is a pastor who called me, but Bishop, what is the issue? It's now four years, I gave you a cow. Uh, he's a pastor in Musanze. I know Pastor Antoine we never failed to get where to put the cow. So Bishop's family has planned to give them a cow. But not only to share the word also but having this kind of relationship. So if they have a farm, uh, there is uh, where the cow was given from a timber. Uh, there is another cow from Sheri. So he will, he will pick one of the two to go in his farm. So that is uh, a gift, a small gift you can give. 
but a love gift. So the deacons they will also tell us the program so uh, he communicated them a 33 year wedding if they are, can open they can open so please for those who are planning to give gifts if you are yes. planning to give a gift know that it will be opened here we cannot allow our pastor so let's hand over the gift and then they will Please open the gift so that you may know what is it. It is a good culture. You might put a Bible yet they have a library of Bibles. I'm, I'm not saying that it's little. But we have to say words. And then we know that they are going to get a Bible that shall use. Sometimes you have to open the, the, the gift. Yeah. I thank you for what you have done. Let's appreciate the Lord because of you. Please keep on informing the conference to the rest. And those who did not come are being informed and that online, and those who are following online, please join us to do this ministry. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pastor, I get Hey, the Let's celebrate the Lord and give a round of applause to God. So please, Diana, explain the symbolic of that gift. Uh, it is a blender. So may, so may you, may, as you take the juice, may you be refreshed. And also coffee. And coffee. 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 We are so happy to have you. Hallelujah. 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 Um, have gone to a vuga. I don't we are short of words. Um, now go to We don't know how we can appreciate you. Uh, it's not a tangible vuga no to bakund. First and foremost, we love you. Um, Bishop and Madam Baba Nyanat Kemujecho Gusezera. Bishop and the spouse that are with us in the farewell party. Kandibat Kweretse Urukundo Rguinsh. And they have really shown us the love. Chari Jihe Abanwaduaga Imano Nyinshi. It was a time when we received so many gifts from people. And they committed to give us their gift here at church. We never knew that it was today. This week, Pastor has been with you. I had so many conferences and different activities to attend to. I felt like escorting him because I love to be here. And I promised him to come together on Sunday. For sure, we came only to join the service. But we thank you for the surprise. Let me first and foremost appreciate the deacon's team to think on recognizing our 33 years in marriage 
We really extend our gratitude. Uh, there are some years people decide to celebrate we personally we are not conference here pastor's wife cyangwa pastor we had planned to meet after the services because I was in women's pastors' women conference and we it was also here. And we had planned to So we decided to do it at home because I delayed where I was and also he delayed. So we thank you that you have put this in consideration. Uh, particularly we extend our gratitude to Bishop's family. As they taught us this uh, ministry, this, uh, the work of the Lord is not an easy thing. We have so many people who, who, who serve with us, who tell you, but it's so much important when people tell you that they love you and they support you. We have so many people who 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 now, we appreciate that you have really spoken this. We have seen people who tell us that they love, but on top of that, we have added a cow. So we both come from a place where they raise cows, they value cows. We know the value of cows. The value of cows is not in money. But the value of cows is love. The value of a cow, it is a bond. So we, we receive that love. And receive the bond. May the Lord help us because we can do everything through Christ who gives us strength. Because a love has to be watered. Because now what we are about to do, God will give us strength. We are happy, we love you. And we shall continue to love you. And we shall continue to love you as a square family. 